Ooh, did you see that hair flip? Hey. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my favorites video. I know that I have not been putting out much content, which is just because I'm in the middle of a move. I'm moving out of state. I'm currently in Virginia, and I'm moving to Massachusetts, so I know I haven't been putting out as many videos as I want. It sucks, because it, like... I feel really disconnected from you guys when I don't have that many videos out, but I'm trying to at least keep up one a week just in the transition of moving, but early February, kind of mid-February, my channel will be completely back to normal, two videos a week, and I really appreciate you guys being patient with me. I miss you and I love you all so much, so that's why I thought that this video would just be perfect so I can kind of chit-chat with you guys and hang out like we're just two down-ass homies just hanging out and talking about products, you know what I'm saying? Please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you're down with these favorite videos. I will do one of brushes and skincare soon if you like that. When I talk about these products, this is completely, you know, how I feel. This is just my opinion on them and, you know, I always want to be transparent with you guys and let you know the real deal, so this is it. I want to start with lips and I use these lip products quite a bit. I'm just going to focus on like my favorite brand of liquid lipsticks and then my favorite brand of actual normal lipsticks. Well, one of them. I have lots of favorites, don't get me wrong. But one of my all-time favorite liquid lipstick companies is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love the range of colors he has. I think they they just stick onto the lips so nicely and they go on so creamy and with some liquid lipsticks I have a problem with layering and you know I overline so I really have to layer that shit up a little bit and then I put a translucent powder over my lip line to hide my lip line as much as possible. So I really need a lipstick you know that's liquid that doesn't flake after a certain amount of time and doesn't you know look super weird and kind of cakey because I do have to put a lot on. Some colors from some companies, you know, are very hit and miss, and I feel that all of the colors, I have all of them, except I'm nude, but I have all of them uh, other than that, and they all go on pretty much one streak of the color, they're that color. With actual lipsticks, my favorites are Melt Cosmetics. This is because they are like a very matte lipstick, um, and they do go on very thick. Sometimes, some people I know, especially when I first got them, they kind of apply where it's very, you have to really push onto your lips and it really applies very thick and so you kind of, it's very dry, but when you do apply it and have it on, it really does stay very well. That's what I'm wearing right now is Melt Cosmetics Belladonna 2. Melt Cosmetics is actually one of the first lipsticks I ever really got and invested in because you know I was starting to kind of like dabble into makeup and get interested in it and I went for Belladonna 2 from Melt and I really liked it and fell in love and I actually have this cute little picture from Daniel and I at the zoo and I wore it and I felt so fancy. My first, one of my first outings in red lipstick. Well since we're talking about lipsticks, gotta obviously talk about the powder that I use to conceal my overline. I'm so terrified that I have lipstick on my teeth and I'm going to look at this video and have lipstick on my teeth and that's just going to be that. That'll be it. But my favorite is the Makeup Forever HD powder. This is perfect because I just put a tiny bit on, especially my cupid's bow because I go over my cupid's bow more so than the rest of my lips. And so I just put, dab a little bit on and it helps because it can really mattify your lipstick too. Now this won't really work obviously if you're doing lip gloss, but if you do matte lipsticks, which I do pretty much only matte lips, it's great. It pretty much makes the skin of your lips along with the skin you've overlined on top of like the same consistency. So that helps to conceal it since they're both the same texture when they're usually not, you know what I mean? So this is a lifesaver, and I actually had a question on Periscope the other day when I was talking about it. With flash photography, people were like, oh, well, won't it show? When I just use a little bit, I've never had a problem. So if you just use a little bit on your lips just to conceal that line, you should be good. This, this concealer, NARS Creamy Concealer. They're Radiant Creamy Concealer, I believe. Yes, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is by far the best concealer I have ever used in my entire life and it is like my holy grail concealer. I will never not be with it without it. I will never 
I will never be without it. No. I will never not be without it. No, you will never be without it. I will never be without it. Jesus Christ on a cracker. Yes, I will never be... I will always have this with me. <laughs> always. <laughs> Love this so much because one, it comes in a pale, pale shade because I'm a, I am one pale ass hoe. And so this is called Chantilly. And I have probably about seven or eight of these and then I have two new, hold on. I have two new boxes ready to go when these are magically out. It's in the name, it's creamy, it goes on super beautifully, it blends out wonderfully. I don't know. I think they have put crack in it because it's just amazing. I don't know what else to say about it, but some people I know even use it to like contour their face and highlight. I just wish there was like a foundation form of this because I would just bathe in it every night. It's the shit. I think everyone needs it. I know that this next product is very new, it hasn't been out for a really long time, but Beautylish actually sent it to me and it is the Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in Pearl. And it's the uh, pressed one, it's not poured. And I want to tell you guys, now highlighters are great and I love using them now, I really wasn't like a highlight girl for a while, I just, I would always kind of forget it because I was like, eh, whatever, but now. I'm all about that shit, okay? I love it, obviously. Clearly, the light is hitting it. I just want to talk to you guys like this the whole time. Highlighters, I feel for the most part, have a lot of yellow tinge to them. They kind of, um, you know, they look so beautiful on every skin tone, of course, but a lot of them look so yellow that it almost doesn't really work with the cool tones of, you know, a paler skin complexion. So this, though, I mean, it has, I mean, you can, you can look at it. It's fucking white, right? If you're pale and like a ghost, it's white. It's perfect for you. You can build that shit up with a damn beauty blender if you want to really like highlight to the fucking gods. Or you can just put a little bit on and it's just so gentle and beautiful and you just look like an angel kissed you on the face. I don't know. Heavenly. Makeup Geek Cosmetics. I'm going to talk about their eyeshadows. I love their eyeshadows. Obviously, if you were here for Hanzaween, you know about my holy motherfucking trinity, which is Cherry Cola, Mocha, and Corrupt. And those are my favorite eyeshadows from them, just because I like using them so much with body painting, but they have so many other super pigmented colors. I like Makeup Geek so much because they are very inexpensive shadows. You can buy them just by the pan. I have all of these palettes full of them, and you can just buy it, you know, pan by pan to get your color. They're six bucks per eyeshadow, so they're pretty expensive, and, you know, they last a long time. I just, I can't help but move, especially when I'm talking. I'm so like, yeah, talk with my hands. So this chair, though, isn't down. Anyways, <laughs> this tattoo brow from Kat Von D is pretty cool. I'm trying to use different adjectives so you're not just watching a video of me just going like, this is the shit, this is awesome, cool, cool beans. But it is true, I feel this way about all these products, that's why this video is called Favorites, because they're my favorites. But most uh, eyebrow markers, this is a little marker, it has a felt tip pen, most of them, especially when you get like a brown, a darker brown, they go on kind of a red hue. Um, I have another one and it's brown but it just it looks red like purpley red after a while and it's really weird and I like did my whole eyebrows with it and then I looked in the light a little while later and I was like my eyebrows are red. I have purple red eggplant eyebrows on my face and that's not what I was going for today. They're fine but not today. So I have the brown and blonde one and if you like drawing on uh, fake freckles like I do sometimes because they're cute as shit. This is perfect. The blonde one. I mean you could use the brown one too because you know freckles if you watch my fre fake freckle tutorial it's good to use kind of different colors they're not all the same but I use this all the time and it stays on very well stays on my face just like it would stay on my eyebrows. These are great for drawing on the eyebrow hairs like if you're into eyebrows that are really wispy and you want little hairs going, 
these are your thing. These are here for you because they got a little felt tip. So it's almost like you're using a felt tip eyeliner on your brows and you're just drawing that shit on because if you don't have it, just draw it, okay? This is the RCMA VK number 11 palette. What I love about RCMA foundations is that basically what you do is you take the foundation out with a little bit of a palette knife or, you know, your finger, probably your palette knife if you're going to be using this on clients, which I do. You take a little bit out and then you put it on a warm surface, usually the back of your hand or something, and you warm it up and with the warmth of your body and kind of mixing the makeup, it gets creamier and creamier because obviously right now it's in this hard form, okay? It just blends like a second skin. I love using this on different skin types on clients because it really just does, it blends right into your skin. Your skin just soaks that shit up and it looks like your skin 2.0. You can build it up to be, you know, a thicker coverage. You can have it really sheared down so it's just a very light coverage. You could even use it as concealer. I used to, for a while, use this palette alone just to, I'd do my foundation, then I'd get even a lighter shade, do my highlighting, and then contour with it as well. That, you guys, is the entire favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had fun just kind of chatting with you guys about some of my favorite products and I don't know, leave down below kind of what your favorite products are and maybe I'll need to try some more out. I really appreciate you guys being patient with me and understanding that it is just kind of a busy time for me right now but everything will go back to normal very soon, I promise, because I love you guys and miss you and you guys are my Hans family, you're my extended family and I just love ya and I will just see you guys later. We could see clearly now oh, That I can stop We could see clearly now We could see clearly now